That's a fish. Oh, that's a giant. That's a freaking giant. What is this? Oh, this is big, whatever it is. Oh my goodness, what is this? What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are out at the freaking Canyon River. Beautiful day out, Memorial weekend. I'm out here with my little puppy. She's down there hanging out, doing her thing. The water out here is still moving pretty fast. As you guys can see, I mean, that current is ripping. I was out here last summer and this place was, was almost dead. There was hardly any current moving down. So obviously the conditions today are different. It's it cleared up a little bit, which is fantastic. Hopefully they want to buy the swim bait Ned rig. I've got two combos. I've got a spinning combo with the little Ned rig. I might have to change that up, but I've also got a casting combo with a little swim bait on it. So. We're gonna start off with those two, a little Ned Rig, a little swim bait, see if there's any smallmouth in here, walleye, whatever is biting, I will take it. Let's see if we can find any fish. Let's go. I think the mission for today is gonna be trying to locate these calmer spots. Like I said, this river is ripping right now, so I'm gonna kind of focus my energy on these, you know, calmer pockets of water. Just to see if there's anyone home. Again, there's smallmouth, there's walleye, there's pike, pretty much everything that swims in the Mississippi is in this river, so. Got him. Let's go. Feels like a decent fish. He was right underneath that current. Not so smally. That didn't take very long. And the little swim bait. Beautiful. Put a little Nedrig out here. See if there's anything else biting. This is pretty much what I'm gonna be doing though. Every hole that I walk up and down on, there's another one. Oh, that's not a, what is this? a drum okay well we've been fishing for five minutes so we got a small now we got a drum See, buddy. but i think that's going to be the name of the game every hole that i can walk up and find i'm going to throw kind of a combination of a bottom bait or a little swim bait really just whatever it takes to get these fish riled up Let's go. Oh my goodness, what is this? Doesn't feel like a smallmouth, feels like a walleye. It's another drum. What? Okay. There's drum number two. Oh. A little bit bigger too. Right on. There goes a little pikey pike. All right, that's three species now in 20 minutes. I'll tell you what, folks. Well, this was not planned at all. I literally, so here's some context for y'all. So I bought this rod yesterday at Fleet Farm. It's a 13 Fishing Fate Black. That's that's the name. I literally bought this yesterday. I just got it. This is my first time out with it. I put a little swim bait on it and I was just tossing it along and it freaking snapped. Didn't even have the camera rolling because I, you know, it's kind of a weird area. I didn't think I'd get any bites, but this thing just went kapoo. What a crack of poop 
So I guess uh, I'm gonna have to use my spinning combo for the rest of the day here, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Just not quite what I was expecting today. That is crazy. I cannot believe that happened. Right on the other side of the bank here. Just in this little offshoot. Looks like a smallie. A nice smallie. Beautiful. On the old Ned. He's got it. Got him. There he is, little guy, but. Come on, pup up. Got him. Right in the current. Oh, small mouth. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Let's freaking go. That is what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, not giant. You just hooked a little bit funny. I right, take it back. I right, take it back. Okay, Jiminy Christmas. He's out of here. Anywhere that you find calm water, trees, rocks, anything that looks like good cover, that's probably where you're gonna find your fish. And that's exactly what I'm doing today here. I'm just kind of walking up this river, this little side stretch here, and I'm not even really focusing on the main channel itself. I'm looking for those little pockets. Calmer water, a little more shaded, a little bit of structure. Especially smallmouth bass, they love to be covered and protected. I'm gonna kind of switch it up here a little bit. Instead of the old traditional Ned, I moved more of a creature looking bait. So basically a ball headed finesse jig with a, I think this is a Strike King? Yeah, a Strike King. Not sure of the name, but almost looks like a uh, grub, like a curly tail grub. So I'm down to one round, I'm gonna have to kind of Get creative as my dog is going wild. What are you doing? Are you okay? You need help? Give me Christmas. Okay. Upward and onward. I'm strap my backpack down. And keep them moving. We still got quite a ways to go, I think. Kind of opened up right here. It looks pretty juicy. Let's see if there's anybody home. Yeah, eat that out there. Let it sit. Slowly move it back. We got it. Got him. That's a nice fish too. That's a nice fish. Right on. Oh, this might not even be a small mouth. What is this? It's got some pull to it. It's a Wally. -E. Hey, buddy. Ooh, Wally, Wally, Wally. Nicely done. Beautiful. 
I'm not gonna keep him though. I'm gonna throw him back. Ugh. A little small. I knew it looked good. This water just, it kind of wrapped in and then it just turned into a dead pool. And I'm like, okay, textbook 101. There's gotta be something hanging out right in this calm water. I just got broken off. That had to have been a pike. Snap me off clean. Oh, bummer. Okay, we are on a full mission. This is dicey. Hopefully there's a spot on the other side and hopefully this isn't poison ivy. I gotta get through here, but I don't know which way to really go. I hear traffic, which is a good thing. I think I'm not that far away. I literally cannot believe we made it. Came from there, and now we're here. Oh, feels good to touch water again. Come on, puppy. I got you. Come on. No, don't go down. You want to go up? There you go. Come on. Well, I made it up as far as I'm going to go today. I'm going to throw a little swim bait. See if I can find any fish along this little current seam here, and. Oh, that was a bite, I'm pretty sure. That's a fish. Oh, that's a giant. That's a freaking giant. What is this? Oh, this is big, whatever it is. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh my goodness. If this is a smallmouth, this will be my biggest of the year. Oh no, it's to get me in the current. Oh no! Mm. <sighs> you know, now that I think about it, that may have actually been a pike or a muskie. Just the way it bit, it was kind of a unique bite. It wasn't like a, you know, a grab and a, and a, and a go. It was more of like a gulp. And then there was nothing, and all of a sudden it started to move, and that's my line right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it almost looks like it would bit clean off. Well, there's no point in, you know, thinking about what could have been. Let's get back out there and see if we can find another one. Small. Right on, on the little swim bait. I knew there was some pike in here. It's not a bad one either, actually. Ah. 
Not bad at all. I'm pretty sure that's what bit me off earlier. Well, that's a nice sized pike, actually. All right, buddy. Later, Gator. Well, that's going to conclude today's adventure. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm not going to lie. It was a little bit of a dicey adventure today. My dog got swept away a couple of times. I broke my rod. I lost my sunglasses. We got lost in some brush for a little bit. Just a crazy, crazy day. But we found fish, pike, walleye, smallmouth, drum, what more can you ask for? If you guys like this stuff, please subscribe. Please like, comment, all that good stuff. Helps my channel out tremendously. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys again for tuning in. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace!